Are you meeting with Greg? Yeah. It's chest day. Man, I gotta get bigger. You're big enough. You know, I spent my whole life wishing my chest was bigger. I know what you mean. So, I think the restaurant gluten bombed me last night. Um, you might want to leave because this is not going to be pretty. Get it. Nice. Good set. Good rep. Come on. Come on. Finish. Finish. Push. <sighs> oh, thanks, man. So you're going open mic night, right? I don't know. Why are you putting it off? Stop being such a baby. Just go. Hey, still fantasizing about me? Yes. All right, you gonna do two? I don't know, man, I'm getting old. I think I can only get it up once. You don't have to do all the work, I'll help. All okay, right, all right. let's go. Come on. All right, keep uh, your butt down. All right, it's down. Come on, back. get it up. Come on, one more. Arch your back a little, come on, do it. It's hard, it's hard. Whew. Yeah. You're a beast, I like it. I like it a lot. Ugh, dads are so gross. Do you think five claims is enough? Or maybe 10 claims? Yeah. Or we could just do seven claims right in the middle. Hey, where are you going? We're not done. Just heading to the bathroom. Again, nobody pees that much. I've been taking these diet pills from Mexico. Oh, they sound safe, unless you care about your testicles. Do you think that's why I'm peeing so much? How many times do you go to the bathroom in the morning? I don't know. A lot of time I go just to read or torment the person in the stall next to me. Sit. You know, I think weightlifting is making me accidentally hit on guys. When a muscular guy walks into a room, I have to go over and talk to him. And I say, hey man, do you work out? And what this really means is, I've been over there admiring your body, and I like what I see. Oh, come on, just relax, Wes, come on. I am healthy, I am whole, I am the funniest patent lawyer in the world. I am healthy, I am whole, I am the funniest patent lawyer in the world. Crap, that doesn't work. You know, the problem with kids today is that it's just too easy to download porn. They don't know the value of hard work and problem solving. That's probably too dirty. Come in. Nikki said you wanted to see me? Oh, yeah. Do you have time to do a response to a final office action in the next couple of days? Sure, send it over. Great. Thanks. Um, how many times do you go to the bathroom in the morning? Sorry, I know it's a weird question. Probably two or three before lunch. Do you think six is too many? Six is kind of a lot. I'll tell my friend. Uh, hypothetically, if one can't go to a bathroom, how might one go to the bathroom? You know, I remember on my Mormon mission, we keep a milk jug in the back of the car. So when you couldn't find a bathroom, you just whip it out. I mean, the milk jug, not... Anyway, so the milk jug was our bathroom. And then once we hit a gallon, we were done for the day. Yeah, that's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. Now that's just for a number one. Like for a number two situation, you're not gonna wanna try to use the milk jug. Uh, because of the chemical reaction between the milk and the... No, the opening is way too small. You know, which opening are we talking about?
Brian. I wasn't going to the bathroom. Yeah, um, I mean, it's fine, but the firm did say they could put a phone in there for you, if you want, you know? Well, it's not really wired for that, so. Okay. Anyway, um, I was just going to tell you that a patent examiner called for you, so I sent him to your voicemail. Are you done with that? Yes, I mean, it's an empty water box. Yeah. yeah. What are you doing? I need you to take a look at something. You know I'm not a doctor, right? No, ew. Just get up here. Just look, I mean, how tight can clothes get before they're actually violating the dress code? Well, I mean, they're tight. We've got to be sensitive to different body types and people's feelings. Of course. But with clothes that tight, every bump and curve is on display, which is really distracting. Plus, I mean, come on. How do you even breathe and close that tight? Well, I don't think Reed's concentration is going to be affected by Brian's bumps and curves. Not Brian, Nikki. Really? Well, it looks like Brian's clothes are tighter than Nikki's are. Yeah, but Nikki's are overtly sexual. Oh, because she's a woman? Oh, come on, Wes. Nobody's checking Brian out. Well, that depends on what you're into. I mean, I bet you Brian would be very selfless, kind. And gentle, wouldn't put any time limits on anything. It'd be all about me. Stop. Actually, you know what? That was kind of funny, though. Maybe you should use that on stage tonight. I don't think I'm going to make it tonight. What? I've been too busy to write any jokes. Wes, you've been busy for 20 years. Time's not the issue. Well, it's just that a lot could go wrong. Like what? A few hipsters don't laugh at your jokes? Well, yeah, that, and then a client finds out I'm trying to do comedy, they stop sending me work, then the firm fires me, nobody else is gonna hire me, my wife leaves me, and then I end up homeless. I think you're being a little paranoid. That's not gonna happen. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Do you remember Logan Walker? Who? Logan Walker, my alter ego in those funny videos I used to do. I've been urinating for as long as I can remember. I don't, I don't even know if this is just a decorative pad or one that really works. And I make sure that I'm awake. I usually just grab my fist and just whack it against the wall. Remember why I stopped doing those? Couldn't handle being a celebrity? No, funny. Reed found out and went ballistic. And he said that my career would be over if any client found out. So I stopped doing the videos and I deleted everything. Oh, what? Screw Reed. You know, Wes, you've got to stop worrying so much about disappointing everybody else. If you really want to do stand-up comedy, you need to stop caring so much about what other people think. I don't care that much what other people think. Wes, your wife is here and she's on her way up. Okay, one quick thing. My wife doesn't know that I'm doing comedy. Are you shitting me? This is exactly what I'm talking about. Look. I'm gonna tell her I just need a little bit more time. Hi, Ms. Winston. Hi, Nikki. Wes, we need to send these ribbon copies off today. Okay, thanks, okay. Nikki. Yeah. Did you see that? Yes, I did see that. See what? It's just inappropriate. I know. Those files are so disorganized. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. I don't look old enough to be a Mrs. Austin, do I? Okay. Is that an inventor's lab book? Oh, this? No, uh, I keep my writing ideas in this. Someday I hope to write Harry Potter fan fiction. Oh, really? Yeah, but... Right now, it's just a hobby. I want to focus on getting my billable hours and becoming a shareholder. Well, do you think you'll ever get around to it? Once I get my clients and I'm a shareholder, then I can be secure enough to try something like that. Mm. You know, waiting might actually make it harder, not easier. You'll have a lot more to lose. All right, I'll catch you later. So you know how everyone wants the, the grass-fed beef these days? But they would prefer the poultry over the beef for health reasons. 
but they don't want to eat the poultry because it eats grain. Right. Well, I have invented a grass-fed chicken, and I want to patent it. Your chicken eats grass? Yep, sure does. Well, some things we can patent and some things we can't. So, like, we can't patent anything that just occurs in nature. So, did you do anything that caused this behavior? Like, some sort of chicken training or something? Or, like, do you think maybe, is there something wrong with your chicken? Are you suggesting that my chicken is mentally... No, like, I'm just wondering if... Like, because your chicken eats grass, and chickens don't normally eat grass, I'm wondering if oh. maybe there might be cognitive disabilities. Oh, of... you're suggesting that he's on the spectrum? No, 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 I'm not, no, I'm not, you know, I don't know if I'll be able to help you with this, really. I'll be honest, I'm more of like a electrical engineering computer nerd sort of patent attorney, and I've, I've never helped anybody patent a living organism before. Wait, I, I could kill it. No, don't don't kill the chicken. Just keep it as a as a pet or whatever you've you're currently doing with the chicken. Come in. Oh, the drink sounds great right now. you like being a patent attorney? Oh, hell no, no, no one does. I just wonder if we should be doing something else. I mean, something that we should enjoy more. A job isn't supposed to make you happy. It's just supposed to make you money. Yeah, but don't some people find something that makes them excited to get out of bed in the morning? We can't all be porn stars, Wes. I know, I just sometimes wonder if there might be something that's more fulfilling. Okay, what's wrong? Well, it just feels like something's missing. I mean, our job day to day just kind of sucks. I don't feel like, you know, I don't feel like it's... Let me guess. You just found out you have low T, and now you feel like half a man. No. I mean, yeah, but there's a cream that I put on for that. Uh, um, I don't know, I mean, being an attorney, it swallowed my whole life. Like, all the family stuff I've missed. You know, I haven't had a hobby since grade school. There just has to be more to life than like sitting over there working all the time. Look, we're men. That's who we are. Don't do anything crazy. Just keep working and stay on track. You can be happy and enjoy life when you retire. We're too old to do anything new. If you do, you'll just be worse off than you are now. Trust me. Hey, did Brian ask you how many times you go to the bathroom in the morning? Yeah, I guess he's taking these Mexican diet pills that make him take a piss every five minutes. You know, he asked me what to do in a situation where you couldn't go to the bathroom. And then I told him about this time I used a milk jug. Come in. Hey, Wes, do you know if the firm has any food coloring or Anything like that? I checked the break room. Okay, thanks. Come in. Can you take me to the emergency room? What's wrong? Well, I'm super sick and there's something really wrong with me right now. What is it? It's kind of embarrassing and I'd rather not say. Brian, just tell me. My pee is red. Red? Red. Red. Okay, look, just tell me what happened. Well, I have a bottle filled with red pee in my office. 
Okay, so you were peeing in there. I was wondering. Okay, um, has anybody else been in your office today besides you? Well, only Nikki, but I wasn't going while she was in there. Hey, Nikki, can you come in here for a minute? <clears throat> don't call Nikki in here. Please don't tell her. I have a feeling she'll be able to help. Did you need help with something? Yeah. Can you close the door? So somebody at the firm might be experiencing some health issues. Their urine is red. I'm not sure who it is. No. Do you happen to know anything about this? Yeah, I actually read about it this morning. Um, apparently, there's this new spider in South America that lays its eggs inside of, well, down there. And when the eggs hatch, your pee turns red. Brian. Brian! <gasps> Q-tips! I need Q-tips. A bunch of them, please. Brian, you're fine. I put food coloring in your pee jar. You're not growing any baby spiders down there. Pee jar? What are you even talking about? Oh, please, I have three brothers. I know a pee jar when I see one. Come in. What in the world is going on? It sounded like someone dropped a piano over here. Everything's fine. Brian, he, he tripped, but he's fine now. Well, I'm glad you're okay, Brian. Some looser pants might have prevented that. Wes, remember your appointment tonight. Got it. What was that about? I have a dinner appointment tonight with a potential client. With Judith? No, just me. All right, all right. Welcome to open mic night, everybody. Are you ready to have a great time tonight? Oh, come on. I know you can do better than that. I said, are you ready to have a great time tonight? OK, much better. Now, before we get started, everyone, turn off your cell phones, OK? And remember, a lot of these guys are new. Okay, so don't yell out things at the comics. Hecklers will be thrown out. No refunds. Now let's give them a big round of applause, okay, because it takes a lot of guts to get up here, all right? Yeah. 